This is what our cows do every single day. They get their silage fed to them in the evening time, and there's enough fed to them to do for 24 hours. But they end up nudging and pushing it and searching through it, looking for renegade potatoes. Like this fella. And that's what they spend their time doing, searching for the potatoes and uh, pushing it away. And then when they give up looking for potatoes, I think they have them all, they'll start to eat the silage. And then they can't reach the stuff that they've pushed away at the start. Look at them go for it, look. So he ended up having to just scrape it in. Just scrape it in every day to, and you may actually, may actually have to scrape it in again this evening because they'll discover maybe there's one or two of the potatoes hid in the silage that's been scraped in at the minute. And they'll start and push it away again. It's a vicious circle. But yeah, it's just one of those jobs that has to be done. But a lot of people even comments and mentioning about the slats and that the slats are cold for the cows and why are they not on straw? And I think seems to be a lot of the comments are coming from people who live in different climates and different parts of the world. Um, the concrete and slats work fairly well this end of the world. There's, uh, the only issues that you can have is maybe if an animal gets so feet on them or some animals just don't like them for that reason, they, they tend to get so feet. But as a rule, they're very little health issues. Uh, one person actually asked me, uh, do I have any issues with the others freezing? Um, and that's most definitely not, <laughs> most definitely not an, an issue. We only get a couple of nights frost in the year altogether. Uh, the, the weather has been so mild over the last number of years, there's been hardly any frost. So it's definitely not an issue that we have in this country. Um, but look at different parts of the world. There are different, uh, There are different ways of farming and doing things, and this is what we find works for us. Maybe it doesn't work for everybody, but I suppose uh, it's whatever works for you. That's and if it's working for you, continue to do it that way. Uh, what we usually do is we'll let them muck away at that for a few hours and once they have it more or less set down we come along then and a little bit of excess then along the front look at these looking for this is what goes on when they're looking for the potatoes um yeah whatever wee bit of stuff is left at the front we'll sweep it in with a with a brush and uh, they usually hoover it up there will only be a small amount left on the next round so um and then it'll be it'll be all fairly clean then for this evening for when uh, when we're ready to feed them again so that's about it uh, these are just still in being fed uh, silage only um, like I probably said before these cows are due to start calving down uh, at the end of February and uh, what we'll do is I my hair test is early in January and take them out, their hair te the, the hair test is done. Um, we vaccinate then for, for scour at that point. And uh, when we're putting them back in, after the second read off, if everything's clear with the TB, we will, uh, 
we'll then segregate them at that point to the, the first 30 the student have uh, with our results from the scanning which was done uh, earlier in the year. Um, so the first 30 then will be in the shed for calving and uh, as they're being calved we'll keep some of them in initially and weather permitting then if the weather is suitable by the uh, in, in March or the end of March we'll start to let some of the cows out. So that's about it for this for this video. Uh, so something short and sweet um, and I've got uh, a few other videos that I'm going to put up over the next few days. One of them is where uh, we were over at the show in in Edinburgh. Uh, the show was Agri Scott and I took a little bit of footage on that. I'm going to do a little bit of a voiceover on some bit of it. And uh, the other bit of footage is of a piece of land that we bought and we're tidying it up. Um, so there's a little bit of digger work to be done and some hedges to be cut and stuff like that. So. I've got a little bit of footage of that and I'll uh, get that all stuck together and I'll get it posted too. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.